You have but to ask. Though I can't see in the d d dark, I still prefer the surface. You're good people. I like to see that. Especially in children of murder gods. No problemo. Yes, it shall be as you wish. Yes. I shall attend to it in a trice. Crusaders coming back this way are captured or killed. Kalar's holed up beneath us in the basement. Ben's Duncan's preparing to engage her. Head down the stairs and finish this. All I know is that Duncan thinks he has her pinned. He could use your help. You've more important things to do than stand around talking to me. Dismissed! This time. It shall be as you wish. Something's not right here. It shall be as you wish. Nearly over. Kalar retreated into this vault. There's no way out. Our mage reports a strange magical aura behind the door. We've got to be careful. Are you ready for the final battle? What do you say then? Are you ready for this final battle? Hurry! The longer she's able to prepare for us, the harder the battle will be.
How may I be of assistance? I shall attend to it tries. Are you ready for this final battle? It's strange to be so close to her. Finally, we get a chance to end this once and for all. Well said. Open the door, soldiers. The Shining Lady's Crusade ends now. And so we reach the end of a long, long journey. If you only knew the sacrifices I made to bring us to this point, all of them worthwhile. Many soldiers gave their lives to stop you, Kayla. Their sacrifices are the ones that matter. Change is upon us. Great and righteous change. You've come to face me, so do so. Now is our time. Fernan, you've caught me in your spell as well. I can't move! Have I now? How distressing for you. You'll just have to stand and watch as my plan reaches fruition. Your plan? What do you mean? Heffernan, what are you doing? You'll find out soon enough, my puppet. Once the devils begin their march into this world, bleed, Bullspawn. Bleed for my master. You're outnumbered, Benz. Go for reinforcements, now. Gods help us all. They've opened the portal to the Nine Hells. Out! Everyone get out and get the vault door locked now! Leave them! There's no time! We have to secure the vault immediately! Devils could flood this place any second! Heffernan, what have you done? I will not let him corrupt our work by bringing forth an army of fiends! Crusaders, with me! We're never going to be safe again, are we? I always thought that one day, one shining, beautiful day, I could go 15 minutes without having to worry about being killed. It's stupid, I know. Yeah, but me being who I am, the world being as it is, there's always going to be something dangerous and scary and murder e around. And it's not going to stop me. Not anymore. Not ever again. Let's do this. Stone and curdled milk fills your nostrils, coating your tongue and throat in a nausea-inducing film. The bitter moans of the damned envelop you, pressing in from all sides, smothering. As your watering eyes grow accustomed to the dim lava light of the pit, you begin to feel the oppressive majesty of the blasted waste around you. In pursuing the Shining Lady, you have been brought to the darkest place imaginable, and the pursuit is not yet over. Crusader corpses litter the ground around you, but of Kayla herself, there is no sign. What is it this time? I shall attend to 
It has all gone wrong. We were to have your blood to open the portal days ago. When we marched here, our numbers were to be legion. We never expected to have to hold Dragonspear Castle for so long. Never suspected Heffernan would betray us, or Our Lady would charge into darkness alone and unaided. Not killed. Kidnapped. You were no good to her dead. She needed divine blood. Tis the key that unlocks the door to hell. There is a bridge not far from here that leads to a grey stone tower. When last I saw Kalar, she was making her way toward it in pursuit of Evernan. I shall do as you say. May the lady... I mean, Timora favor you. Farewell. Your pantaloons pressed. you will. Join me or no, I care not. Your part in this is done. Now let me do mine. 
I cannot stop. There's no turning back for me, not now. I swore an oath once long ago. I must keep it. Authority figure. Yes. Point me where you want me to go. How may I? I shall attend to it in a trunk. Go no further for now. What is it this time? for a time, and Thrix would not want to disappoint his master, unless... If Thrix believed his master would not be his master much longer, if he believed you might slay his master, then Thrix might allow you passage. Master has been most vexing since the business with Kren Chinnabon. Thrix is weary. You are in the first and greatest of the hells, little thing. Nothing here comes free. But perhaps you might be interested in a wager. Thrix thought you might. But who? Who shall the profane one take when, I mean, if, you lose our wager? your own soul. Oh, Thrix likes you. And he agrees. You'll make a fine addition to his collection. And now, the riddle. You should like this, child of Baal. Thrix's riddle was devised for you, and you alone. Now, tell me what I speak of. A useful tool, though most despise it. In light, it can topple kingdoms. In shadows, it sustains nations. Paupers fear it daily. Kings fear it deeply. You were born to serve it, but because of it, you will die. What is it? You have answered my riddle. Aren't you clever? Clever, clever ball spawn. Now choose your prize. Thrix's master should be finished with the Shining Lady by now. Enter freely, and of your own will. Huh? I'm listening.
I shall attend to it in a trice. us in this damnable place. in the forest. I'll kill the bastard what done it. Ha! My aim is true! What is it this time? Nature servant awaits. Ow! Yeah! Yes? Oh, that hurt. Yeah? Oh, what? what is it this time? Attend to it in a trice. Yes, it shall be as you wish. Your orders? How may I be of assistance? You have but to ask. What is it? Welcome. 
just in time to witness the fall of Kalar Argent. There is nothing you or anyone can do to save her now, godling. She will hang in the hall of my Lord Belefit, and you will hang beside her. Damn you, Heffernan! It was your treachery that brought me to this! This is the secret of Kalar's crusade. There is only one soul in Avernus Kalar has ever cared for. Her uncle on Argent. A man who sacrificed all to save her. You dare challenge the great Belefit here in his place of power! After everything I've done, you would have me at your side? So be it. The Child of Baal and the Shining Lady will stand together against this Devil's Darkness. You are as arrogant as my mistress, and you will share her fate. Let me sleep. Sleep. Huh? What is it this time? Yes? Yes, O oh omnipresent authority figure. This isn't working. We have to try something out. Go ahead. This isn't working. We have to try something else. Let's give them a This isn't working. We have to try something else. The army can't watch. Try something else.
This isn't working. We have to try something else. What's up, Buttercup? I can't carry everything. Point me where you want me to go. at last, uncle. I know not what you did to make this happen, Kayla. Whatever it was, the cost was too great. I sacrificed myself to ensure my niece never saw this place again. You knew my wishes, Kayla. Why did you defy them? Do you think so little of me, uncle? Did you truly believe I would leave you to rot in the Devil's Claws? I expected my niece to honor her uncle's wishes. How long has it been since we last spoke, Kayla? Have you learned nothing in all those years? More than I ever wanted to know. I knew no happiness in my ignorance, yet the misery I felt while convinced I trod a righteous path was nothing compared to the guilt I must carry now. I was brought up in the Order of the Aster. My Asimar heritage and the Argent name assured me a place of honor as a paladin of the Morning Lord. Or so I thought at the time. 
I had such confidence then, such certainty of purpose. I knew I would rise to greatness. Knew it in my bones. All that barred my ascent were my superiors in the Order. They sought to teach me humility. I see that now. But I could not bring myself to bow to their authority. To any authority but Lathander's. Perhaps not even his. I was told to watch over the library. To guard the volumes within. For they held knowledge critical to the Order's success in the battle against darkness. I coveted that knowledge. In my arrogance, I read aloud from the pages, not understanding the forces I was invoking. That was how a girl not yet ten years old found herself in this pit, in that cage. She had come here willingly, if in ignorance. By the Nine Hells laws, she was Belevitz, an innocent, an Azimar, an Argent, a soul with value beyond measure. All I could do was offer another soul in trade, one without the stain of arrogance, one that was of the Argent line of a paladin at the height of his powers. I made this sacrifice hoping that Kayla might someday find redemption for her sins. But she is here before me, and I now know she chose another path. A heavy toll was paid by me and those who followed me. A heavier one still was exacted from those who stood in my path. Am I without regret? No. Would I do it again? Without hesitation. Lives are lost every day with no purpose that any but the gods can see. Those who sacrificed themselves in my name have saved a great man from an unjust fate. Evil done in a righteous cause is evil still. You may admire me or not as you wish. I am an Argent. I hold myself to the highest standard. I know I did evil, though I did it in pursuit of good. I must answer for my crimes. And you will, once we're out of this damned inferno. Let's go. Divine blood was the key to opening Dragonspear's portal to Avernus. The blood of a powerful devil will lock it once again. Here, take this key. It will open the Dragon Spear Vault. I'll not be returning to Toril. What? No, Kayla. I'll not allow it. The portal can only be closed from this side. Someone must remain behind. I shall sever Avernus's connection to Toril, and then stand guard. Whosoever would cross the threshold to Dragonspear will first face Kalar Argent. I can do nothing to change the past. What future I have is here, in this place. That was true from the moment I first summoned Belafet. Uncle, please go now before Avernus's legions overtake us. Do what you can to redeem the Argent name of the shame I brought upon it, I beg you. I... May Lathander's light shine upon you, child. Thank the gods. The portal is closed once again. Thanks to Lune. 